Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, today we have a quick video. Today we will talk about four principles of good system design you should know for your interviews. You should use them in interviews. And um, I want to make it easy or make it quick. So before I say what what are these four uh, principles, I want to say um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you will never miss a video and if you if you're not new so welcome back i am happy that you're back again in our channel here we discuss um we discuss the way uh, possible ways and we actually learn together how to ace and how to crack our interviews systems and interviews and problems interviews and also behavior interviews and today we want to talk about four principles of good system design we should know for our interviews so before talking about these four principles, we want to say what is a system design interview? So a system design interview, it's a discussion between two candidates, um, the interviewer and the interviewee. And in this one, you can think about it as a journey between you and, you and your interviewer. And both of you trying to uh, um, uh, solve a specific problem, like design Facebook, design YouTube, and design um, design uh, whatever slack for example so in this one we want to have four principles and four principles that we should follow to make sure that we are in the good side and we know what we are doing in, in terms of acing our system interview the first one in my opinion is to follow the the famous framework that I always talk about, which is to um, understand the problem. Wait a minute. Let me make it with numbers because numbers is better. So first we want to under, understand the problem. Second, we propose a high level design. And third, we want to uh, get a deep dive into specific se uh, section and third we want to make a wrap up and talk about improvements if we want um, this is first we want to put this uh, oh, I don't like it be like that yeah so this is first we want to put this framework in our in our head because this is how an interview should go okay the second thing is that after f after 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 attending this framework we want to make it like the second thing is to make it as simple as possible we want to make it as simple as possible we want to keep it simple keep it stupid and it's one of the red flags in any system design interview that you over complicated your your uh um, the, your system so basically if I'm talking about a, um, a rate limiter so basically we have a client and this client is sending a request and this is uh, and sending like maybe multiple requests and these requests are going to a rate limiter and maybe the rate limiter will allow only for two and will not allow for the others and that's it there's no need to put more and over complication is a big red flag in the interviews do not do that so make it as simple as possible so do not complicate the system to solve hypothetical problems that may actually encounter in the future that may encounter a future we want to try to predict future problems trying to predict the future problems and also try to flex your your system skills is good but we shouldn't excrete the uh, excrete the in, in planning for contiguous that might um, not even happen we don't we shouldn't do that because it's a really red, red flag the third thing that we want to talk about is that and yeah before 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 uh, um i continue there is two questions that you could ask to make sure that you it, it's simple you can say can we make the system simpler or are we making too many assumptions about the uh, what might be needed in the future for example but this is this is uh, this is not going to happen or it, it will I, I don't know who knows who knows no one knows anything so we want to say th everything this is number one it's the most important principle make sure every thing is fucking clear 
okay? We wanna make it sure that everything is fucking clear. Sorry for saying fucking, but it's really important to just think about it. Because a good system should be simple and easy for your interviewer to understand. And also, it should be clear between you and your interviewer what are we actually designing so don't make any assumptions like we making zero assumptions we want to make sure everything is clear is fucking clear so we ask our interviewer is it good like that should we do like that is it good like that is it everything clear should i add things should i delete something should 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 so this is number three and i want to talk about number four which is the second most important thing, which is that we are building the system from simple to complex. So when your interviewer asks you, for example, to create um, to create like um, a chat application. So it's good to 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 talk about yeah we will add uh, notification service we will add, we will add we will add we will add but if you start directly from the complex maybe you will be lost and you will waste a lot of time so it's easy to start from at a symbol so for example if my interviewer tell me okay Mohammed just just please um, design a chat system so I said yeah we have a client here and we have another client here and we have um, um, a chat server. And they are connected with the chat server using a web socket. And, and I will continue talking and build up on this system example, on, on this uh, simple example. So this is the, the last one. And it's really important. Just start from simple to complex. Don't jump directly to complex because you find yourself wasting a lot of time. And maybe you will find yourself focus in a lot of de out of details maybe i will give you a bonus uh, principle which is do not focus do not focus on details or non uh, non crucial parts of the f of the system so for example if we want to talk about the system the the, uh, the chat application there is no need to to just to focus on uh, how the notification will send or maybe how the notification will send the uh, to 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 uh, to the the user because there is a third third uh, apps third uh, third level apps for that there's no need to to focus on this one and we not we don't have to focus on non crucial parts so there is no need for example i'm talking about chat system so there is no need to for example to focus on an authentication system it's good to talk about authentication but on high level but we do not focus on it so yeah that's it for today's video and the home is good. my my video is quite good if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so we never miss a video and see you guys in future problems